Number seven for three marks. This is quite a nice wee thing for three marks here. It's just a divide. So you've got 5t over s. Change divide to multiply by the reciprocal. So 2s squared over t. Now cancel out any factors in common between numerator and denominator. Well, the t can cancel out the t. The s can cancel out one of the s's. So we're left with is 5 times 2 is 10 times s. Underneath, they both went, so there's just a 1 underneath, if you like, which means the answer for 3 marks is 10s. Couldn't get better than that. Number 8. So, in a sale, this thing cost, this laptop cost £297.50. That was after having 15% off. Well, 15% off is the same as 85% of the original thing. So 85% of the original, maybe you could just set it out, 85% of the original came to £297.50. So how would I get the original price? That'll be the £297.50 divided by 85%. But dress it up as a decimal, 0.85, so you can put it into your calculator. That'll be the amount. A nice 350. Nine. Similar triangles, but they're overlapping each other. Often they're better just to separate them. So there's a big triangle and there's a wee triangle. And the corresponding sides are 30 and 24. And it tells you that the small triangle, that's the QRT triangle, has got an area of 400 square centimetres. But you have to work out the area of this blue section just this part in here, the part that wasn't overlapped by this. Well, that's just going to be the difference between the area of the big one and the area of the small one. So what's the area of the big one? Well, the ratio of these two triangles are the big one is bigger, it's 30 over 24 times it. So the area of the big one, so the area of the big one, which I could call P, triangle PRS is going to be, now it's 30 over 24 times the size linearly. So its area will be that squared times that area times 400. Now it's a calculator paper so you can just press the buttons and that will give you the answer. But that does divide down because that's 5 upon 4 times it. So that's squaring that would be 25 upon 16 times 400. Not that it makes it a lot easier. So, and that gives you 625 centimetres squared. Which means the area that they're looking for, they're calling that area PQTS, that's this bit in here, will be 625, the area of the whole triangle, minus 400, the missing part, which is 225 centimetres squared.